Hello guys, so today I'll be talking about the base of the skull, also called norma basalis. So it is divided into three parts, the anterior part, the middle part till the anterior border foramen magnum and the posterior part. In the anterior part, we've got the alveolar process, tooth socket, we got teeth, this is the palatine process of maxilla and these two are the horizontal bone of palatine of uh, horizontal plates of palatine bone so in between the two maxillary process we got the intermaxillary suture and between the two palatine bones we got the interpalatine suture between maxilla and palatine bone we got the ma uh, palatomaxillary suture this is incisive foramen from which nasopalatine nerve pass. This is greater palatine foramen from which the greater palatine nerve and vessel pass. And this is the lesser palatine foramen from where the lesser palatine nerve pass. This is the posterior nasal spine. Now this was about the anterior part. Now we'll talk about the middle part. The middle part is basically formed by four bones the warmer, the basilar part of occipital, the petrous part of temporal bone and the sphenoid, the greater wing of sphenoid. Here we uh, there should be but it is missing. Here we should have a warmer bone. This is the posterior nasal aperture. These are the pterygoid plates, the medial pterygoid plate and the lateral pterygoid plate. In uh, on the medial pterygoid plate, we should have a hamulus, but it is missing. This is pterygoid fossa, and this is scaphoid fossa. Pterygoid fossa and scaphoid fossa. On the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate, medial pterygoid muscle inserts, and from the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate, lateral pterygoid muscle finds its attachment. On the inferior surface of the basilar part of occipital, we have a tubercle or protuberance called as pharyngeal tubercle. This is the glenoid fossa where the condyle of the mandible articulates forming the temporomandibular joint. This is the styloid process, this and this. This is styloid process. This is mastoid process. Between styloid and mastoid, we got the stylomastoid foramen. This is stylomastoid foramen. Now coming to the foramen lacerum. This is foramen lacerum. Foramen lacerum is formed by the conjunction of basilar part of occipital, the petrous part of temporal and the greater wing of sphenoid. This is foramen lacerum from which the internal carotid artery and the meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery pass. We should have a pterygoid canal here but it is not so prominent in this bone and from the uh, pterygoid canal the nerve and vessel of pterygoid canal pass. This is foramen ovale. This is foramen ovale present on the greater wing of sphenoid. From foramen ovale mandibular branch of trigeminal, ascend, um, accessory meningeal artery, lesser superficial petrosal nerve and emissary vein pass. And this is foramen spinosum. This is foramen spinosum from where nervous spinosus pass. This present on the petrous part of temporal. This is carotid canal from your internal carotid artery pass. And this is jugular foramen. This is jugular foramen the here and here. Jugular foramen from where the uh, inferior petrosal sinus and the sigmoid sinus, meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery and the 9th, 10th cranial nerve pass. So to recapitulate, we got the foramen lacerum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, in, uh, carotid canal, jugular foramen and stylomastoid foramen.
Now coming to the posterior part. Posterior part mainly formed by the squamous part of occipital. You got the foramen magnum here. This is the condyle of occipital. They are a bit posterior to condyle. We got the condylar canal. This is condylar canal from where emissary vein pass and anterior to the condyle and a bit inferior superior sorry we've got the hypoglossal canal this is hypoglossal canal from where the meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery and 12th cranial nerve pass this is hypoglossal canal uh, a bit medial to mastoid process we have a groove for occipital artery uh, this is external occipital crest inferior nuchal line superior nuchal line and this is external occipital protuberance uh, a bit posterior to mastoid process you got a mastoid foramen this is mastoid foramen this is mastoid foramen from where occipital artery pass so from foramen magnum is uh, foramen magnum is divided into two parts anterior compartment and the posterior compartment from the anterior compartment three ligament pass from below upwards known as apical ligament cruciate ligament and membrane tectoria and from the posterior compartment, lower end of medulla oblongata, tonsil of cerebellum, spinal artery, vertebral artery, and spinal root of accessory nerve pass. All right. So incisive foramen, greater palatine, lesser palatine, foramen lacerum, ovale, spinosum, got internal carotid, uh, sorry, carotid canal, jugular foramen, hypoglossal canal, condylar canal, stylomastoid foramen, and mastoid foramen. So, thank you.